What so, is this for? Larry, for our YouTube channel. For which? For our YouTube channel. Oh, I see, right. Tell me, uh, so this base, so they're yeah? Gonna, they're going to be seeing my, my physio on the television. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about that base. Uh, What's, what, what is it? Where did you get it? Well, right, it's a friend. Uh, uh, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Rolling. Oh, I thought, I thought I'm always going to do it. Uh, it's a friend. Uh, yeah. The date, I cannot uh, precisely remember what the date is. I think it's 1972. Uh, I bought it from Blanks, which is no more on, on Kilburn High Road. The guy had a lot of uh, equipment in there, but when I went in, he didn't have um, any Fender Jazz, so I ordered one. When I went back to get it, I had a look at it and all the strings were out of alignment and it was in a bad way, you know, the, 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 um, it was all tight and um, hard and the, the strings were out of alignment, like the top string, the, the, the G string. Was it brand new? Must have been about what? Brand new bass? Yeah, quarter of an them? inch off of the, key, the keyboard laterally, not uh, not vertically. What color was so it? I had it was white. Now this is this is what happened to it because it has been around for so long. The white has just turned to yellow. Who did you play it with? I played it with uh, Cat Stevens. Yeah. Most of the time I played it with Cat Stevens. Sometimes he was not up, uh, uh, satisfied with the sound, but I was satisfied with the sound. And I thought maybe I could do better. Uh, he got me on a recording session with a, what you call it, a precision, and it should have had a nice sound D uh, up at Morgan. We got it hired, it was hired. We hired it and got it up to Morgan, and the sound was terrible. Not about the, most, the most terrible sound I had. And, and, it's, a, it, and it's a precision. I mean, pre Precision, you can't go wrong with them, can you? Mm. Have you got any funny stories about it? No, the only, only story I have is with that guy from, from Blanks. He sold me a Duff, a Duff guitar. So I had to take it and take it to a guitar maker for him to do the whole thing again. But you can see if you look, you can see where they are, where, where the, uh, the screws are. Uh, for this, you know, somewhere over here. So that means that this was moved to the side. This this whole part here moved to the side. So instead of it running along like that uniformly, that string was up there, and the, the other one was outside here. So I had to have, I have to have the whole thing up, adjusted and up here as well. But what happened actually now is, uh, I don't know what happened, I lost. No, this is not it. Different bass. It's a different bass. <laughs> I did turn it on, so I couldn't move it. Then uh, after that, uh, well, I'm not supposed to talk about anything else. I had that uh, and, uh, before I had uh, a Gibson, uh, Gibson uh, what's it? C5, what? What's the Gibson bass? What's the Gibson bass? The EB1. No, no, no. Jack Goose played it. Not the, not the EB1? No, no. Jack Goose used to play it. Mm -hmm. I got one of those. I've got to put an added footnote. Now that I got it into this shop here, and uh, because I was thinking, I had it uh, hanging in the corner of the room for about a year and not playing it, and I thought, well, nobody's going to want this thing anymore, you know, this is just any good. Uh, anyway, I'll keep it. 
so I was invited to bring it down to have, a, have it overhauled. I brought it down to the shop here, and one of you boys did a good job on it, and pulled it out when I came, and put it through a Wallace amp. Remember it's a Wallace, and started playing it. And I was amazed at the sound. I was very pleased with the sound. And then I decided I'm not going to sell this, this, uh, this guitar because the sound is too nice. Who was his name? What's the name of the guy who played Omar, it? Omar, Omar. Omar? Yeah. Yeah, right. Well, he played it and it sounded so nice, I thought, I'm going to keep this. I might still get a job playing bass anyway. But it's got a very, very good sound. It's an amazing thing. I prefer this sound now. The sound that this this jazz bass has got, I prefer it to the precision. Mm -hmm. you know, although before I used to dream of precisions, you know? Everybody bought a precision, didn't they? <laughs> now I'm pleased with this. And I thank Hawkeys for their indulgence. <laughs> That's the end of the footnote. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember a gig you played, like one gig in particular you played with that, with that bass, with Cat Stevens? Uh, no. No? <laughs> <laughs>